Well hello and welcome to Jimodism Total Notary Channel. Today I will teach you how to identify the components inside a laptop. And this laptop is a little laptop that I absolutely did not find in a dumpster somewhere. Um, but I'm going to fix this laptop up a little bit because it's... Uh, yeah. I need to clean it up and uh, make sure the components are all right and remove some dust and see what's inside basically. But now we're going to take the opportunity to understand what these components inside it are. I already removed all the screws so... <laughs> uh, also this is a laptop, it's kind of old, I don't care so much about it so uh, be more car careful than I am. This is the battery and here we have a little thing here. Here is actually the RAM memory, random access memory, in an easy accessible little place there. And here we have the hard drive, which you can kind of which you can kind of slide to the side like that, pick up, here you see. We have a Seagate. Yeah, many gigs, very nice. Uh, and uh, here we have the little RAM place and for the other components uh, you kind of re need to remove all the screws to be able to remove all this. Alright, so what components do we have more? Here we have a CD player, CD DVD writer. Here we of course have the cooling unit. This cooling unit is both for the GPU and the CPU. So remove that carefully and the cables it's attached, we have that. And this clearly needs some cleaning up. And well, to remove the RAM memories, we have, let's see here, we have small, small, small things you got to uh, open up to the sides there. And then you can kind of flip it up and remove them. So here we have two gigs of RAM. Oops. Uh, also, don't drop anything on the motherboard, especially not something mortar. And if you remove the cooler like I just did, like here, make sure you have new cooling paste because that has to be replaced. This little thing down there, uh, this is the graphics card, this little chip here. It says ATI, and this of course with the pins, let's see if I can make those pins a little bit more visible, uh, is of course the processor. And to remove the to remove the processor, nice and good. Uh, we have a little. We had a little. Let's see a little screw there. Whoops. Um, be more careful than I, please. Uh, to remove the cooler of it. This is the cooler of the processor. See there. And uh, here we have the pins of the processor. And that's very cool. And it's of course the same cooler for the graphics card down there. This is the graphics card. Um, this is not the graphics card. I'm not actually 100% sure what that is, but I think it. Yeah, does it say something? It's a lot of clues on the motherboard. You can see it says uh, it says CPU right there. It says CPU, so that's cool. Uh, and yeah, uh, and this is Express card. It's was a. It, I don't know if it's used anymore. It's a technology you can kind of input other stuff. I actually got the FireWire Express card so I can use FireWire stuff on all my PCs that have Express cards like this one. Yeah, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, now to cleaning this thing. To clean this thing uh, you should not use a vacuum cleaner, but I will do that. Uh, but if you do that, there is a risk that uh, you might shock it with uh, static elect electricity. Also, when handling a computer like this, like components like this, uh, you should um, kind of ground yourself, I don't know, don't have shoes and stuff on, touch an element or something, make sure uh, it's good if you can sit on the same surface as you work on. and. Uh, Make sure you're not statically. There are like arm straps and stuff you can buy. I don't know. I think it's kind of silly, but I guess it's a. It's you know. If you wanna be safe, it's maybe not a bad idea. But anyways, uh, you can use compressed air, which is the safer method of uh, blowing off stuff. You can blow it yourself 
outside or whatever. Um, I'm going to carefully remove some of the dust with a vacuum cleaner but uh, keep in mind that this might destroy your computer so only do this to uh, uh, you know if you get hold of an older computer that may or may not work very well and you just want to clean it up uh, yeah it's a nice unsafer method I'm just too lazy to go and buy <laughs> compressed there but anyways uh, that was a little show of what components we have inside this little computer RAM, CPU, GPU, uh, hard drive, is the RAM? no, it's this, like that, like that, like hard drive, and uh, the CD writer up here. Yeah, so that's that. I hope this has helped you to uh, recognize some of the parts in your computer. And well, I'm going to clean this up and uh, remove all the old files of this and just reinstall Windows on it. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Or maybe Linux, we'll see. In any case, post in the comments if there are any special tutorials you want to see. Uh, other than that, I'll just say thanks a lot for watching. This is Jimmy Dess, Total Notary Channel, officially signing out.